I just wanted to show off my new toy here with my mainline Dynalog Dyno. Um, as owners know, I mean, uh, they'll the dynos will communicate over CAN bus or serial port with you know 40, 50 different ECUs. So they didn't support Mega Squirt, and uh, I'd been bugging Todd and Andrew there to get it uh, working for me. And so this was just quick. We just threw this MS uh, plug and pro, uh, plug and play Pro into the Supra. Um, loaded up the base map, fired it up. It's it's idling right now. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, then pinned just quickly the two CAN bus wires and got some little alligator clips and it's just real cheesy. I just wanted to see if it all works. Went into the Mega Squirt software and then under the um, CAN bus kind of heading up here, you just simply go in, choose CAN broadcasting there, turn it on, which I already did, and then you select the stuff that you want it to broadcast and, and the data rate. And then you just go into your mainline software and you select Mega Squirt from the drop down menu. And I just set up quickly just some real basic stuff that I might want to look at. So, you know, I've got the engine RPM, manifold pressure, throttle position, uh, air temperature, coolant temp, uh, lambda, uh, wide band correction, pulse width, you know, just whatever. You can, there's anything that the ECU uh, puts out the the dyno uh, can display so it's pretty cool I love I love my new toys and really thankful that Todd and Andrew are like right on there you know doing customer re requests so it should be a lot of fun so just quickly here we got two back-to-back -back runs where I just altered the timing a little bit and it's just nice because you know of course you can look at your ECU data log and see what happened but it's nice to have everything at a glance so uh, what we have here right there we've got the timing curve uh, the top graph is your power and then down here I have uh, uh, manifold pressure so or boost anyway gauge pressure and you know I bumped the timing just a little bit uh, the power we lost a little randomly coming up on the boost and then uh, at a couple spots, but then above like 5800 there, it completely smoothed the graph out. Like it's it's beautiful now. So I like the extra timing, and and you can always tell like a, a good sanity check. Then is is uh, you see the boost is slightly lower, and what happens is when you have more timing advance, depending on the turbo and the exhaust housing. Um, you make less heat so the boost will drop a little bit so it kind of makes sense so you know looks looks great and it's just you can see all your ECU data along with your plot at a glance um, the other thing here we notice then just quickly scrolling through it um, you hit the space bar you could set up a whole bunch of parameters and switching uh, between them with space bar so we'll go quickly is there fuel there and then you know injector uh, pulse width caught my eye you know 16 milliseconds especially up here at uh, 7,000 rpm that's that's pushing 90 percent duty cycle so we are uh, we are done and this is the other thing that I use quite a bit because I always have customers showing up with some who knows old injectors from who knows what and you don't have injector data or you don't know who did the injector data that you looked it up on the internet. So this will actually let you kind of figure out the uh, injector dead time that you should be using with a particular injector. So same idea when you've got ECU data, when you've got the battery voltage, you know, and then you've got injector pulse width. Um, here is uh, your equivalence ratio. And basically you'll go in the ECU, or <laughs> here is equivalence ratio, and then you'll go in the ECU and you richen it up or lean it out. And then it'll draw the slope of the curve. And as, as the curve approaches uh, zero fuel flow, which would be like zero equivalence ratio, you know, it'll cross somewhere on here for uh, what the injector dead time should be. So it, it's a, it works actually pretty good if you pay attention to what you're doing. And uh, just another neat toy that helps out when, when you're stuck.